What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So what we got going on is we the have- Explorer. This is a 110 scale off-road truck. Uh, it was sent to me from Banggood, so I will put affiliate links down in the description below. If you're interested in it, it's for ages 14 and up. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at it. I did take this thing obviously out of the box. It was pretty beat up, so it already did its own off-roading before it got to me. So <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, check over what we get in the manual as far as check that over. So. Um, it does give you like exploded view that's in here, your do's and don'ts about the vehicle itself. Uh, three double A, so that's pretty nice on that one anyhow. So here, your exploded view of the vehicle itself. Let's kind of check that out. Um, and then it gives you a little part list here too. So pretty nice as far as with that. Two, the other right. little goodies that you get in the bag or was in the bag. <laughs> but um, you get a little Phillips screwdriver here, a little T-style wrench, whatever and also a USB plug. So it does have a little LiPo battery that comes with it. So pretty cool on that one. So let's go ahead and give you, this is the rear wheel for the vehicle. Let me go ahead and show you the flip side of that. This is where it goes. It goes in here. There's little body clips that do come with the vehicle so you can mount this thing up. Um, this is like bead lock on here. So there are screws on the back side of it. Um, there is no foam in the tire. So normally there, there would be a little bead, there would little be a little bead or be glued, but on this one here, if you notice, you can kind of just pull it back. And, but it does have this bead lock on the one side and like I said, the screws on the back side of it there too. Take a look at the radio itself. Um, but kind of uh, it does feel, it's not bad in the hand, you know, nothing fancy, not, no thrills, but um, I at least has a steering dual rate or steering rate, uh, your throttle trim and your steering trim. So pretty cool. So that's pretty nice as far as that steering rate. You have your uh, normal as far as your your steering. So if you needed to reverse something, you could do it that way. Your little on and off switch, and then like I said, just three double A's on the bottom of it. So pretty nice. So they just have that little exoskeleton type frame around it. Anyhow, not bad. They does come in green as well. It's kind of the one I wanted, but uh, they sent me red. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Um, getting on to as far as like the bumper here, it's pretty flexible anyhow as far as that one. So it'll take, looks like it might take some decent abuse there if you bang into a wall or what have you. Uh, it is ball bearings in here. So this thing spins for days because uh, there's no grease in it or anything like that. And so as, as far as the rear. So at least it's going to roll pretty good. It looks like it. Even just your, uh, your dog bones that are in there too. So those are steel. So let's go ahead and get this body off here. Let's take a look at underneath it. Let's go ahead. You can just have a little bit of a steel pan there in the front, or I'm trying to think of the, the name for it, but like a skid plate for the front of it too, so that's nice. Easy peasy as far as that one goes. Good. Reinforcement, this piece here. All right. You guys, let me know what you guys think about this thing. Anyhow, all right, so we do have a 540 motor, a little bit shorter motor. Uh, but if you're new to the hobby, you're not going to really know, but it does have a 540 motor, brushed motor that's in here. As far as the drive shaft that goes from the front, or sorry, from the rear to the front is a steel one or aluminum. I'm not 100% sure what it's made out of. It might be steel. Kind of assume it would be steel, but um, all right. So then we got a little servo that's hanging out in there as well for our steering. Now, when it comes to the electronic speed controller, it is a two in one. So this is a two-in-one. And what that means is that uh, if by chance you decide to go with, let's say, different servo, or you want to upgrade to a brushless system, let's say for instance, so that's going to be replacing the motor, also going to be re replacing this um, electronic speed controller slash receiver, two-in-one. So that means you'd have to replace your radio as well if you decide to go with like do an upgrade or something like that to it. Uh, as far as the chassis on it or what have you, not too bad. Uh, it's pretty stiff. Now we'll say this too, as far as the suspension, uh, they say oil filled shocks, right? So uh, um, I would say oil filled shock, just one. I would, because really mm, there's nothing, there's no oil in there, but you can put oil in there. So as far as this one too, it's got maybe a little bit in it, potentially. This is the only one that actually has a little, some oil in it actually seems to do what it's supposed to do. And then here, yeah, nothing. So there you go. Let's get this battery out. I don't know exactly what size this 
Mm, maybe it'll say it on here, maybe it won't. Okay, yeah. So here we go. 1700 milliamp lipo. Focus. So there you go. 2S lipo, 1700 milliamp, 7.4 volts. So you, there you go. <laughs> Not bad. Um, yeah, there's nothing to this thing, man. They didn't even cover it up and put any kind of stickers on it or anything. So pretty plain Jane on that one. I do like, it's got a Dean, connect, Dean connection that's on there. So pretty good. Anyhow, and at least the heat sink on the motor. Anyhow, I definitely would give it that. The, at least that'll pull a little bit of heat away. So good on there. So uh, I will have a running video of this truck here soon. And I'll probably have to put some oil in this thing here. I won't put anything fancy in it. Just, just to put something in there better than nothing, just to kind of soak up a little bit of the bumps. It's gonna be off if I have one shock that actually works and the rest don't. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick here too, as these shocks are uh, aluminum capped. So that's nice and they, do, they are sleeved as far as they're threaded, so you can adjust the shocks. So if they need to be, if you need to get a little bit tighter suspension or what have you, so that is nice. And it's gonna let you know too, as far as these little body posts that are on here as well are adjustable. So nice, they do have little screws so you can adjust the height up or down. And then the same goes for the rear too. So this thing's way up in the air right now. So, uh, you know, if you decide to go with a different body on it or what have you. Overall, I mean, as far as, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in one of these. But uh, stay tuned for the running video of this thing so I can give you more thoughts on it since it's just a show, an unboxing anyhow. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at OMGRC. We don't carry these. We do carry a lot of other brands out there, some of these vehicles that you see behind you. Anyway, like I said, uh, this one will have affiliate links, so this one will be coming from Banggood. So definitely supports the channel. Anyway, catch you on the next one. You guys take care. Thank you again for watching. Later. Mm -hmm.